BAE Systems Australia is offering an uparmed, evolved version of the Hunter-class frigate to the Royal Australian Navy RAN as a way of rapidly increasing the firepower of the surface fleet. BAE argues that their proposal, which effectively replaces the Hunter-class Mission Bay with additional missile tubes, offers an evolutionary, rather than revolutionary, approach to delivering additional capability to the RAN. Craig Lockhart, Managing Director at BAE Systems Australia, described the proposal as the closest thing to off-the-shelf available to Australia. Citing from the Naval News website, the concept, which BAE is proposing for Batch 2 of the class, uses the space allocated for the Mission Bay on the Hunter class to insert 64 MK-41 Vertical Launching Systems VLS and 16 Naval Strike Missiles NSM into the ship for a total of 96 VLS cells. If the RAN elected to remove the 5-inch MK-45 gun, Lockhart said. It would enable the VLS count to grow even more to 128 cells, which surpasses even the United States Navy's USN Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruisers. According to BAE the uparmed, Batch 2 Hunter, maintains 85% commonality with the existing ships that are under construction at Osborne, South Australia. The most significant difference is the removal of the Thales Sonar 2087 towed array and various other unspecified anti-submarine warfare ASW systems. It would also involve minor changes to the ship's propulsion and power systems to accommodate for the increased top weight of the high-mounted VLS cells. The proposed modifications would have a minimal impact on cost and a negligible impact on schedule so long as build of the modified design commenced with Batch 2, rather than Batch I ships, Lockhart said. BAE is also exploring alternative ways to uparm the frigates through the use of containerized air defense and surface-to-surface -surface missiles. Right now, however, a decision has not been made and BAE is simply offering options to its customer which is the Australian Department of Defense and RAN. The original Hunter-class contract Signed in 2018, always included scope for redesigns between each batch of three ships.